Hello fellow Simmers! Today I'm going to show you how to collect all of the gardening plants in The Sims 4. And yes, I have problems pronouncing garden, gar, gar, gardening. We're going to cover finding plants in the wild, splicing plants together to get new ones, and obtaining seed packets. There are 32 different plants that you can grow and collect in The Sims 4. So let's get our green thumbs ready and dig in. In The Sims 4, you can find various plants in the wild by exploring different neighborhoods and parks. Like for example, where my current sim is, there's a wild apple tree here. Now, if a plant is in season, you can click on it. You get a wide variety of, of things that you can do. If it's in season, you can harvest from it. You can also take cuttings, view the tree, or uproot the plant if you don't want it to be there which I highly recommend you never do this because then you'll, you won't get any, any wild plants in that. And wild plants are very useful. You need to keep an eye out for harvestable plants and trees. And once you find them, click on the plant and select harvest if it's available. If it isn't available, then just look for, keep looking for, for harvestable plants that are in season. But once you select harvest, your sim will collect the plant and it will be added into their inventory. You can then plant that plant in your sims garden to start growing your collection. Now you can also do splicing. Splicing is a fantastic way to discover new plants in the sims 4. To splice plants you need a sim with a gardening skill of at least level 5. What you need to do is when you find a plant you click it, you select take cutting, your sim will go to the plant, your sim will take a cutting from the plant and then what you want to do is you click on another plant and you can graft that plant to your other plant. So I'm going to do, this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to graft the cutting from the apple tree onto the toxic morel plant. So grafting one plant onto another will create a new plant that can produce both types of harvestables, and sometimes you will even get a new or unique plant. Experiment with different combinations to discover all of the plants available in the game. And remember, there are 32 different plants in The Sims. A few extra tips. Another way to get plants is via seed packets. If you have seasons, you can please the gnomes during Harvest Fest to get free seed packets, which I always recommend if you're just starting out. You can also buy seed packets from a computer, a garden pot, or a planter box. And to order from the computer, all you do is you click on the computer, do more choices, find shopping, order, and purchase seasonal, purchase seasonal seeds, purchase seeds, purchase oversized crop seeds. You click on any of those and buy the, the seed packet. Get those seed packets, you open them up and you get, um, you get plants or seeds. Either eat the plants that you get from the seed packets or you can plant them. You can buy plants at Realm of Magic. You can also get plants at Henford on Bagley. So you can get cowberries from fishing, which is really weird, but um, there you go. A few extra tips. You get a trash fruit plant, which is right here. You leave it to get one of these. All you have to do is leave a pile of garbage sitting on the ground. To get alien plants, which I happen to have one right here. To get one of these plants, you build a rocket ship, upgrade it fully, and you can um, you need to do this to get the UFO plant from space missions as well as to travel to Sixum for the glow orb, the quill fruit, and the fang flower. This is an intergalactic growth pod that my sim managed to find when he went up on the rocket during the geek con. There's also a super rare plant called the grow fruit that cannot be found naturally in the world, but you can get them from rare seed packets. Finally, there's the forbidden fruit of the plant sim, to get that, you need to complete the Magic Beans collection and place the beans in the Magic Plant Sim stump to grow a tree. You explore the tree once it's grown and you find the fruit. Magic Beans can be found by opening rare seed packets. They are very rare though, so it might take you a while. And that is it, my friends. Uh, now you know how to collect all of the gardening plants in The Sims 4 through finding plants in the wild, splicing, and seed packets. I hope you found the guide helpful, and I cannot wait to see your beautiful gardens. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Sims 4 tips and tricks. And until next time, happy simming.